Yeah, the, the biggest achievement was the uh, introduction of Brentuximab Vedotin, a fusion toxin attacking CD30, which uh, uh, was a, it showed a tremendous uh, improvement for advanced cutaneous T-cell lymphoma, CD30 uh, positive. And uh, we uh, use it now uh, in CD30 positive patients. And after achieving, then we have in this study set a progression-free survival of almost 17 months. This we have never seen before. And now the newest uh, news are Mogamulizumab are approved in the US and have the positive vote also for Europe. This will be more used in the leukemic type of cutaneous T-cell lymphoma. So we'll see, so we have two new compounds, I think in the near future, one already, and, the, and Mogamulizumab in the near future. And there are other compounds uh, in evaluation, the Kier antibody for uh, leukemic uh, type of cutaneous T-cell lymphoma. Uh, then we will have uh, compounds attacking the uh, YAK-STAT pathways, which are quite interesting to use. Uh, and uh, of course, monoclonal, uh, additional monoclonal antibodies uh, attacking CD47 in the near future. So there are some uh, new drugs uh, which are, are promising, also attacking uh, the, uh, the CD413 uh, uh, antibody, Dupilumab, also might be useful in uh, uh, using in cutaneous T-cell lymphoma. These are projects for the near future.